What is going on with y'all, man? Welcome to another episode of the Grind Gang Show, episode 45, man. We got motherfucking tripping here. We got up, Ali guys? back in this thing. We Hello. full in effect. We got Miguel and we got so, a few so. of his artists who can be up here answering some questions and stuff, man. Like, this is going to be a different episode. We really going to dig deep into the artists this time. Like, so we won't be playing music, unfortunately, but just know it's going to be dope, man. But how you doing though, Miguel, man? How your day going, bro? On this hot day right here. It's like 87,000 degrees. Outside. And you got a jacket on. Look at the jacket, y'all. <laughs> Nah, yeah, but that jacket hard though. Yep. It Black is a hard on. jacket, but damn, Black that's ice. sacrifice. Yeah, Black that's what bro, is. for the brand, feel me? Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel it, bro. Mm-hmm. But I'm doing good, though. I appreciate you guys doing this. You know, I know it's out of uh, your guys' uh, you know, podcast, but I do appreciate nah, you guys doing good. it, for real. Nah, bro. Hey, listen, bro. This is That's what podcasts originally are. Like, people just talk, right. you know what I'm saying? Some of them don't even play music. So this will be, this is, yeah, it's different, but I like it, though. It's a platform. It's a platform to definitely put any material out. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we're grateful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're going to ask you some questions today, my brother. Yes, sir. He wrote them down. You know how serious that is? I wrote them down. Oh, he was very I serious. You on paper. Sure. <laughs> look, I, I made sure, no, man. Bet, so bet, bet. He wrote it on pencil first, then he, he wrote it in pen just to make sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> he asked me on the way here, you got a notebook? You got a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had, you got some I had, paper. I had to make sure I was on my shit, you know? Yes, but sir. Look, got to be. So just being, uh, just being you, period, man. If you could be remembered for one thing, what would it be? One thing, um, my loyalty. Strong. That's a good That's answer. That's a good ass That's answer. That's a good fucking answer. Hmm. Yes, sir. A lot of people won't even think that. Hmm. Nah, yeah, loyalty just because um <clears throat> you know, that's something I really I'm proud of doing, you know, with anybody, you know, friend wise or just right. like right. brand wise, you know, just anything in general. You know, I like sticking to one thing and one thing only, and I and I wear and I wear it with pride, you know. It's not it's not easy, you know, being loyal, you know, or like that comes with a lot of fucking integrity, you know? Right, right, right. So has anybody been unloyal to you that made you just say, fuck that? I'm going to, you know, just don't say, Don't say the person, but like, has uh, anyone? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. There's a lot of people, yeah. you know, and, um, but it is what it is, you know? You know, I've, you fit in wherever you get in, you know? So it's like, mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't really, I don't like associating with my, with people that don't like keeping the word, you know? Right. right just because, right. you know, you have to hold that down, you know. You got to stand your ground. Your word, you know, your word is everything to one, to the next man, you know, to the next person. So when you say something, I expect you to do it. You better mean it. Exactly. You mm-hmm. gotta, you gotta do when you got mean it. You know, otherwise you're looking goofy as fuck, just saying right. something and not doing it, doing the whole right. opposite. Like right. that fifty two fake out, motherfucker, man. Exactly. You know, people pump fake all day. You know what I'm saying, but. You just got to really apply that pressure that you talking or you just talking to talk. You exactly. know what I'm saying? I, that's why I don't like answering my phone some goddamn time. Oh, we know. <laughs> I really don't oh, like know. talking on the phone, bro, because it's like, bro, what are y'all talking about? Where are we getting? You know what I'm saying? And then nine times out of ten, they just trying to fuck you over. So, you know. Exactly. Business-wise, yeah. too, you know? Right, right. Especially right. in business, you know? Right, right. How you doing, I think the man? the biggest thing, How like, business doing? stuff happens, right? But as long as you communicate. Right, yeah, yep, communication yep, is definitely exactly. key. You know, saying so no matter how minor or major the situation is, like just be honest and make sure that you're real with yourself first. You know, especially saying? You in business, you can't make a motherfucker believe your lie. You know what I'm saying? Like that's some bullshit. You can't give me, real. you can't give me <laughs> like, like a day you're gonna drop something that like, don't happen. You know what I mean? But exactly. you gotta at least communicate with me, like, hey, something yep. happened, blah, blah 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 blah. But don't just leave it in the air like that. That's what I'm saying. But that, you, and you think, and you think that's so easy to do nowadays? But mm-hmm. nope. It's so common for people to just mm-hmm. leave you on red or just leave you or just Facts. fuck you over and mm-hmm. over some little money, you know, when you could have yeah. had that connection made, yeah. had that work for you, you know, leveraging that friendship. I mean, it, it takes growth, too, though. It takes mm-hmm. maturity. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to really learn yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't live your life based off what people want to see you as. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to really be real with yourself in order to like. Admit that you wrong or admit, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, it that just, pride of it's stepping like, stone. No, it, it is. <laughs> Some, it, it, is. It, it might hit people faster than others. You know what I'm saying? It took me a long time to like really just like, all right, man, I got to start owning up. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. start speaking on shit, like opening my mouth because closed mouths do never, don't, they definitely don't get fed. No, definitely sir. Don't. <laughs> for don't. Real, for real. So, look, this leads me to my next question. If you could visit your 18 year old self, you know what I'm saying? And give some advice. What would you say? My 18-year-old self? Mm-hmm. 
Well, to be honest, I've been doing music since 14 years old and I've been keeping holding it down ever since, you know? Yeah. So I really wouldn't tell my 18 year self something. So what would you tell your 14 year old? To, to, uh, I would like to, I don't know, I would rather like give the, the advice to somebody else because like all the advice in the world has been given to my, has been given about, given by my parents, you know? They've, mm -hmm. I always, like, I used to be a troublemaker in middle school, right? right? So my parents used to always get on my ass, ass, you know? They used to give me the most realist advice ever. Like, they used to tell me, it's like, don't be like us, you know? Be it's better not, than us. Be better than us. It's not fair that we don't have papers, but you do. So make it, make something out of that, you know? Mm -hmm. Be better than me. If you want to be a supervisor manager, you do that. But right now, you're fucking up and you got to quit. And you got to think about your actions because... If you go to jail, if you do this, we're not going to help you because we have already warned you, you know? My, yeah, my parents yeah. used to give me the realest advice Boy. ever. So that made me into the person I am, you know? So it's like- Discipline. Exactly. It gave me so, like, I think my parents every single day, I'm so grateful having them, mm -hmm. like Aww. being on my ass, even though, even Everything. till this day, you know, like- Ass whoopings included. I needed it For all sure. <laughs> no Straight kidding. up. For sure. But back to your question, if I had to tell my younger self something, mm -hmm. I'd say- don't give your heart out to anybody. Not mm. yet. Not there yet. You know what I mean? I feel it, bro. Like, hmm. if you're going to do something, do it, but don't overdo it. As right. in, if you're going to give a hand out, give your hand out, but not your whole arm. Mm. <sighs> well, just got real. Damn, not man. even to the, like, to the was, elbow. To, <laughs> hey, right, I like this, 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 this right I, here. Just I like this segment right here because yeah. I'm really getting to hand. know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's dope, bro. I didn't get to I didn't get to Let's meet go. you on the first show. Nah, you didn't. Yeah, no, I wasn't here. Yeah. So it is uh nice to formally meet you. I said they're Yo. definitely talented. Like, yeah, got some great music. We yes. still been playing this shit. Mm. Every time you hard. drop it off, every time you drop it off, we playing it. It don't matter, bro. <laughs> but I didn't get to like get the lowdown on you either. So like, what is it that you do? Do you like have a brand? Do you manage people? What yeah. is it like, that what is you your, do? So right now, what I do so. I've always been a one man team, right? Mm -hmm. I've always been, you know. So what I'm doing, I'm building the brand in the in the record label at the same time. So I'm piggyback, mm -hmm. like I'm piggybacking them off each other, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't want something to grow faster than the other. So I'm doing it both at the same time. Mm -hmm. So on my jacket, that's the brand, like that's right. the merch. Feel me? Right. Like that's that is tight. Jacket. That's wait. Stand up and turn around so the camera can see it. G. Be careful, don't fall. Yeah, I'm out. Hold on. That's okay, like wet it out. Don't worry. Yeah, go ahead. Boy, you can definitely export that. Yeah, let me get this shirt off. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Ice. Yeah, yeah, they can see it. Ice. That jacket is hard, bro. For real. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Ice black I seen rose. that gold one yeah. that y'all had on your on your IG. I was like, that. I still right got your there. t shirt, gang. I still do, too. Nah, I appreciate Facts. you guys supporting for real. Yeah, bro. we got to, man. I got a section in my closet. Literally, Fools, all yeah. local merch, straight up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not even bullshitting. It's crazy. <laughs> so, so that's yeah, tight. that's so so that's a brand, right? So the mm -hmm. record label is a different logo, and that's where the music and everything comes along, like the business side of it. Mm -hmm. This is just the merch, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so basically. So are you an artist or are you an A&R sure, or a manager? I'm, I'm, I'm everything you? at the same time right now because I'm building everything myself. I tell my artists, work on yourself because mm -hmm. every single talent I pick, it's not, they're, they they come undeveloped, you know? Mm -hmm. So I work with them one-on-one -on -one and I try to develop them and mold them into the person I see them because I can I can pick on my potential. You know, I can pick on my black roses. Like, mm -hmm. I know how to read people and I know who's serious and who isn't right. serious. And I've been right. doing this for the longest, you know? It's just the experience that comes with it. So when I pick my talent, I'm like, okay, these motherfuckers raw and very talented. Mm -hmm. But they don't see that, though. Right. But I right. help them see that. And right. that being said, I'm an A&R. You know, I do the studio. I do the promotion, the marketing, the merchandise. I do everything by myself. He's that guy. He's just simply that guy. You feel me? Kind of sound like what I be for, doing. For, for now, you know, <laughs> for now. Well, my goal is to build the business with the artist mm -hmm. and then build build another team of veterans. Mm. And then after that, build another team of, you know, some somebody like, almost like a metal man team, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what that, what I'm doing is building that marketing machine behind, uh, you know how the music industry that they had, they got a, what's it called? A 
marketing machine, right? And that's right, what it is. Right. They just got connections. They got businesses on top of businesses on top of businesses that cir- circle around each other, help each other out. So that's what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. I'm making my own industry, not my own business. You know, I don't, I don't, don't want to. I like that. You know, I don't ever want to go to. I'm not saying I don't ever want to, but yeah. just like my goal is to stick to myself. Yeah. With my team and help mm-hmm. all these other people mm-hmm. and develop everybody and mm-hmm. pick out my roses and build that marketing machine on my own. You know, I'm not just an artist, you know. I rap, I freestyle, make music, whatever. But at the end of the day, my yeah. biggest goal is to develop this business on top of businesses and brands on top of brands circling each other. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Man. Hmm. Today they said, man, he's like DJ Khaled. No, nah, like, really. no, nah, like he, I'm like, he oh, snap. the way he business minded, he thinks mm-hmm. so forward. You know what right, I'm saying? Because right. he's not just stuck right here. He's like, okay, I'm doing this, but what else can I do after that? And then after that, right. I'm gonna bump back and do this. like you do right. both things: the label and the merch and every all together by yourself. Not, is it by yourself or do you have like a like a staff, like a faculty that you rock with? Uh, well, the merchandise. I mean, just in general, like your team. No, I'm a whole my one man. Like I said, I tell my artists, I t- yes, I do everything myself, and I mean that. Mm-hmm. You can even ask my. My artist, I do everything myself. I just help them and mm-hmm. I help them develop to get ready for the next thing, for the next move, for the next venture, for the next opportunity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can do this. Show me. I've been doing this how since do you, I was 14 years. How do you time manage all that, bro? Shit, I just put in the work and I don't think about it. I just do it. Kobe. I, all right. I don't really, bro. Like, like this whole day is going to be busy. After this, we're going to do a photo shoot. Then after that, we're going to bring another artist to the studio. We're going to be at it you know making music doing just working you know like working like that's all 24 hours exactly i am and i love man every single decision every single second is Mm -hmm. very important very valuable Mm -hmm. that really like that right there is everything because every single dot every single day we're dying as we speak Mm -hmm. you said you started making music when you were 14 like as an artist like you started making your own music yep and i've always owned my own studio okay so when did you start when did you start like your your brand and your um, as far as like managing other artists and stuff like that, when did you start that that part of it? That was after high school uh, when I was 18 years old. But before then, I've al- I've always had my own clothing line too as well. How you doing? You know? How you doing? My my other clothing, my first clothing line was Time Is Money. Then the next one was uh, Thinking the Millions. I've always had my own little business aspect, you know, just because like my mom, she's always was into like side hustling. You know, she always. Used to sell makeup or sell like mm-hmm. all types of stuff. So I got my hustle from my parents, really, you know. Mm-hmm. Like my entrepreneurs. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So both of my parents always had side hustles on top of work and, and on top of being parents. So that's where I get it from, really. And plus I'm Mexican. <laughs> How old are you now? Twenty five, just turned twenty five, February. Oh well, happy, happy belated. Belated, boy, yes. belated, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Man, so speaking on that business venture, so if somebody were to come Give you ten million cash right now. Hey, what, is anybody what, what snapping? You on? Is somebody snapping? That's me. My fault. Okay, that's me. My fault. <laughs> he's getting groovy. He's getting groovy with it. About all this insidious ass noise. Tell him why. <laughs> <laughs> Stop Wait, that is anybody snapping? <laughs> nah, but what would you? What would you? What would you spend it on? If somebody gave you ten million right now. Shit, I always think about that. Um, right now, properties, to mm. music, mm. better studio. Mm-hmm. Other incomes that can make me more money, like you know, Bitcoin stocks and all that. But mostly properties, so I can uh, rent them out, and these properties will be all over the world. I'll mm-hmm. probably have like five or six, but these properties will be sitting on like, for example, like if somebody wanted to go experience the 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 ball drop up in New York, mm-hmm. I'll get a nice ass little penthouse, you know, somewhere like you can shit. view that. That's and dope. Just giving them, you know, just giving the clients just the experience. Rose, Airbnb. Mm-hmm. What's so happening? pretty much mon- monopolizing the world with cribs at the main attractions of those states, exactly. cities. That'll yep. be hey, that's hard, bro. Yep. <laughs> that's then they're genius. Like it is. Well, and it's got it's hey, and you'd be surprised how many people would pay for that. Yeah, oh, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, pay for itself. You can put them on as Airbnbs type shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Like that's that's bro, that's hard. That's rose. hard, bro. That's exactly. hard. So if you hey, do that, do that, bro. Right if you on, get right 10 on. million, you know what I'm saying? Well, when you get your 10 million, I ain't gonna say if. I think we roll to the occasion to find you a location. What is it? We roll to the occasion to find you a location. Yep. Mm. Mm. 
Ice Black Facts. Rose, Airbnb. <laughs> Airbnb. You, said, you said you started that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You, I literally just you, hey. you said um, you, after this, you guys are going to go to the studio. Do you have like a home studio? Uh, Do you guys have studio. your own? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So you, yep. you, so it's very intimate. Your artists come, you work with them like one on one. They record with you. They do all that. Yes, everything one on one. I teach them everything I know because I want a table full of bosses. I don't want a table full of artists. I'm not. We're all going to grow the same know. way. I don't want, like you know that. And I got the off Rick Ross. You know, he's like, why would you want a table full of workers when all you guys can be bosses and mm. make more money together? We're getting more money together. Bring like as a as a whole. You know how valuable that is. Right. Come on. Mm-hmm. It take it's, a it take a lot of pride to let someone help you. Exactly, yeah. it really does. Yeah, it? that's why I figured. I think that's Ooh. why you do it on your own because it's like, who can you, who can you depend on more than your? I don't self? depend on anybody. Exactly. I depend on myself. I'm independent fool. When I and I wear that shit on my chest for real, independent yeah. to everything. I mm-hmm. the amount of money I spent till now. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I was telling, like I was telling JB, I'm like, bro, like. I was telling him on the phone, I'm like, you know how much money you would spend with me if I was charging you $40 an hour and you come here every other weekend? Bro, we times that in a year. That's probably like, how much was that, JB? 20K. Mm-hmm. I'm just charging you $40 an hour. And we took one weekend, like every other week. So if it was every week, it'd be 40K. Yeah. Just 40. And that's not even that much. Feel me? Other people charging like yeah. 60, 70, 80, 90. So I'm saving him so much money. And I was telling him, the reason why I was telling him not to throw in his face, but it's just like, just imagine what that money that we're doing, mm-hmm. that we're that we're saving, we can invest that in other stuff. Mm-hmm. Like that's being independent. We're cutting out all the metal men. Mm-hmm. We are the men. Feel yeah. me? We are the businessmen. Right. You don't realize how much studios cost until you like, like, damn, I need three hours. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I, like, ah. I can't stress this enough, man. Like, I really advise every artist to have their own studio. Yeah. Like no matter what, like, yeah, it's good to go to the other local studios. Like, I, and I, I push that, but I also want to push that y'all need your own studio, like, yeah. for real. You never know, like, you, you'll catch a vibe that you didn't even know by yourself and be like, damn. Cause I feel like just me alone, I feel like I hold back a lot of my potential when I'm in somebody else's studio. It's like, I can't really get in my zone like I want to, but if I'm in my crib, <laughs> shit, I'll be doing some shit. Yeah, the boy. comfortability like, level comfortable. of that. It's kind of yeah. different for me. It's like therapists, right? Like you can be home and like hear the same thing for a therapist, but sometimes mm-hmm. you want to go somewhere random and tell someone yeah, like someone yeah. random shit. And that's why I push to like keep going to these local studios right. that's got names for them, Round Table, Juke Studios, mm-hmm. City Dump, God yep. damn it, all of them. As was it Asmith? Trish and Thompson. Asmith, yeah. Do all go go to them, but also learn for yourself. Exactly. Trish and Simpson, shit, I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Just one don't work out because I, the reason why I work by myself, bro, because I I just, I don't know. Like, I, I'd i rather fuck up on my own than somebody fuck my shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. or I'd rather just make sure everything is going my way. And like, I don't know. It's weird because I, I feel like I don't I don't give off bad energy when I work with people. You know what I'm saying? And like, some people give off their energy. Like, all right, this motherfucker. It's like, all right. Fuck yeah, I ain't coming back no more. So that's why I stay to myself. Shit, for real, for real. That's my experience. You keep um, talking about your artists. How many artists do you have? Uh, right now, I only have two right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 I've had I've had more, but not everybody works out, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trial and error. Right. Because I could have. You said you had. Wait, how many did you have on the last episode? Did you you had so, more than two, bro. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. So it was a. Uh, Siete and then YCMG. That was mm-hmm. on the last episode. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was the only two artists you had back then? Was Yep. Oh, okay. I could have sworn you Do your that. artists uh, vary? Like, well, do you only, like, happened. work with rappers or you work with singers or how, like, w- what's the stretch in that? Yeah, I work with everybody. I'm trying to have a record label that everybody's different and every single body's going to make a different genre of music. My goal is to expand globally you know as in jb he be making uh mexican music you know Mm -hmm. corridos banda all that so that's his specialty you know i want every single artist to have their own specialty i don't want Mm -hmm. them to just rap it's cool we're gonna be versatile and all that but everybody gonna have their own genre of music you know Mm -hmm. i want to have your own pocket exactly you know because i want to you know because later on we can we can crisscross all these all these platforms right. and different, you know, venues, we can just make it all happen, make it sense, you know? Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. It do. It do. 
Well, and like speaking on your business and stuff, like if you could tell people like, hey, this is what I want people to know about me or how they can find me or how they can reach me or whatever, like what, what would like, how would that work? What would that be? What would that look like? You have like so, social media, yeah, like yeah, as yeah. far so, as like, if somebody was like, oh, no, hey, he fired after this, marketing, I was about to say, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, so marketing like, what, a, yeah, crazy. like what's your social media? Like, how can like, people reach yeah. out to you? Like, how are you making that jump? Music? Yeah, yeah, yeah no. buy your merch, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we yeah, but I want to clear something up though. We're not an official business yet or official. We're on the come up. Okay. Everything's in the works. Okay. But where they can find me at Ice Black Rose ENT or Ice Black Rose merch. But. That's okay. damn near the 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 name everywhere. Eyes Black Rose E N T. Now is that just is that just on Facebook, Instagram, like Facebook, Google that? YouTube, like, man, all that you can Google it and it'll pop up right like, everywhere. So Ice Ooh. Black Rose E N T. Yes, sir. And that's where they can find your music at too, right? Yep. Spotify, iTunes. Yep. All that. All that. Okay. Do you handpick your artists? Oh, most definitely. That's why Black Rose. That I like handpicking my own artists. I know because I know. I can wear so many different types of shoes as an artist, producer, mm-hmm. you know, so I know, I understand music mm-hmm. to its fullest potential, you know, it's mm-hmm. a whole different language, you know. So when I see potential, oh, I can hear it, like, yeah. I can hear, I can see, I'm like, okay, I'm going a, I'm to a show him what, what, he re- what he's mm-hmm. really worth, you know, and I'm going to pull pull them up, I'm going to push them to where they can be pushed and just work with them one-on-one. That's why I like finding undeveloped artists because... It's better to mold somebody when they don't know what to do versus somebody who already knows because then they got start acting cocky, you know, they start mm-hmm. having that pride and this and that. You know, a lot of people don't like don't know how to be humble, you know? Right, right. I'll be hum I'll be trying to be humble, you know. Sometimes my pride gets in the way, of course, but for the most part, I like being humble because well, most artists, most locals cannot do what I do, and I put down everything. Mm-hmm. I'm a whole one man team on top of building another team and another team. Mm-hmm. Like my veterans, one's in Brazil, and one's in Canada. Feel me? That's a graphic mm-hmm. designer. That's a whole engineer. And then I got two other producers, one in Alaska and one in Texas. Mm-hmm. Feel me? So I'm expanding myself mm-hmm. in all types of states, just networking online, just building that relationship. All right. All right. Right. You know, I don't okay. like this. Ain't the whole team. The whole if the whole team was here, we wouldn't have enough chairs. Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> we probably need that out there at the couches. Wouldn't be enough chairs for that either. <laughs> we have to he knock, up, bro. We, we have to knock this windows down or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, talk to him. Gang. Oh, oh, I got a fun question for you, Miguel. Oh, fun one, man. Spider Man or Batman? <laughs> Why? Mm-hmm. He said, ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Spider Man or Batman? Why? I need to know. Uh, Spider Man. Okay, now, now, talk to me. Talk to me now. Talk to me. Because he can climb, he can, <laughs> he can go anywhere. Feel right. me? He, he's got to spoil that motherfucking spider web. <laughs> like, who wouldn't want that? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm be trying to tell motherfucker, man. Spider Man is the ultimate character. Spider Man, hold on, hold on. Batman gangster, though. Batman no, go is, against aliens sure. and monsters and be like, I got hands. <laughs> That's it. They got special power. Spider Man been in space. Firepower, everything. Batman got hands. <laughs> this is it. We man. got a giant gluttonous monster coming. i am got these hands. I'm coming. Man, nah, that shit bro. kills me, bro. Spider Man's harder, bro. No he power at all. Competing. <laughs> Almost killed the Superman with no power. Nothing. Hands. Nah, <laughs> Captain uh, 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 Wonder Woman saved his ass. I'm about I to say remember. Wonder Woman she all the way. Saved his ass. Women got it. Women, <laughs> women eventually gonna take <laughs> over the world. Die. She came and saved his <laughs> ass. Did she or did she not? I don't remember. Bro. Okay, I just know. I just know. Batman. Saying. Every movie, every show. What he got? These hands. These every hands. single time. Nah, yeah, yeah. In that what badass car, nigga. I love his car in that last one. Bro. That boy was rich with hands. Hey, hey, what's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, was so rich look. with hands. <laughs> All right, Miguel. So look, what do you think? Personally, what do you think that music will be like in like five years? Music is constantly evolving. Yeah, I don't man. know. Like, it's gonna be like in thirty minutes from now. That's like that's <laughs> like that's like a like five years. That's like a good, five. Man, it's a, a good, good question, question, ain't it? Yeah, because yeah, I, I want to know. Because I still be like, damn, five minutes, five from years, now. five years. Wow. Okay. I can tell you I, I, how you think it'll be, it. man. You made me think, bro. That's a good question. <laughs> you said I'm spot on, but uh, so in five years, the music industry is already collapsing. All these famous and well known record labels are falling down just because. Everybody's starting to go independent, right? Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a lot of more independent 
more more music is going to be made just to be made. There's not going to be a lot of original real music that we're accustomed to like back in the day, like back in, in the 2000s, music. you know? Right. There's mm. going to be more like auto-tune, like, like goofy shit, really, man. Like you think so? Yes, for sure. Because everybody becoming more independent. So once you get more independent, you're getting more control of everything you do. You don't have mm. to go through a through a man saying yes or like a permission or mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to ask for permission. So he's just gonna constantly be dropping, dropping, Free dropping, range dropping, dropping. So dropping pretty, shit, so pretty yeah. much, you saying that people just gonna start figuring out how to do this shit on their own. It's gonna be martial law music. Saying you don't necessarily have to be like a celebrity to be rich. Type shit, you ain't and then they gonna figure that out, and then they gonna just take off no on their shit. own. <laughs> like, pretty pretty no. much, hmm. but not pretty much. But if they get it, if they get it cracking down, like if they if they know what they're doing, because a lot of stuff, this independence is more harder than than being signed. If you wanna be real with you, but those who make yeah. it, those who survive, will have more control of the art, right. music, the vision. But not a lot of people know how to do that yet. You yeah, because like being independent is definitely definitely hard, and it's like. Yeah, we all start off as independent and then we all want to get to that major label thing. But me personally, I want to stay independent, you know what I'm saying? Like forever. Like, and if yeah, I do, sure. if I do potentially get to that table with them big dogs, I'm like, eh, nah, I'd rather you just invest in us, you know what I'm saying? Or just exactly. you know, like whatever the case may be. Because I just I don't know. Maybe we got the same views, but I feel like it's gonna be a little weird. But I feel like it's gonna be some new new shit. You know what I'm saying? That people ain't re- really ready for. Exactly. You know There's gonna be so, a lot of you know some predictable yeah. you know, but it's right. gonna be a lot of more independence. You know, right. they're gonna start right. realizing that they don't need this uh, these music, the music industry, all these record labels. Mm-hmm. Because think about it: if you get signed by a record label, they give you money. Okay, that's cool. They give you that money, but all that money has to—it's a loan. Coming feel right me? back, right? It, it's a loan, and by the time you pay all these students, if you're if you just know how to be an artist, guess what? What's you have on? to pay. How y'all doing? You have to pay the videographers, the graphic designers, the photo, the photography. You know, mm-hmm. the engineers. You got to pay the promotion and the marketing, the ads. Mm-hmm. You got to pay all these men, and by the time you pay all of them, guess what? You're down to your five ten percent. Mm-hmm. Feel mm-hmm. me? That's why I like doing everything by myself because I'm to the point where I'm saving, but eventually I can offer all these services and make money off of them. Mm-hmm. Feel me? But I say you can pay me. You got a studio, bro. That's right, free right. money. That's free money right there. That's what bro. I'm saying. You ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is just everybody going to the record. Just go to work. Right. That's all you got to do. Dang. Let's see money on top of that. You let somebody use your shit or you record them. You know what I'm saying? So do you, so do you feel like, like, there could be, hold on, let me see, how could I put this? Do you feel like people will start running out of stuff to rap about? Never. In life? Okay, so if you say never, what makes that, like what makes people come up with the shit that they say without it sounding repetitive or the same as the last song or the last song or this artist? You, like what makes people stand out? Because right now creativity. I feel like people is like- Or experience. Rapping about I would the same say experience. Shit. But it's like the same shit happens every you got every day, something, right? You know, what yeah. I'm but like, not everybody's gonna explain it the same way or how yeah, it affected yeah, yeah. them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess the same right. thing I guess could right. happen to twenty people, and I bet you twenty people all describe you, it differently. You know what I mean? You got to think different to make music because you got to understand anything you made has been made before twenty right. times. Before. That's so, what I'm saying. So, so, like, like, so you got to be creative I, enough and like have that. I no, don't you're think right. you. I don't think you can really. Sorry, I'm not trying to cut you off, but I don't think you can really like worry about i mean i mean i'm sure artists worry about music becoming repetitive yeah. but it's like not everybody's going to deliver the same way mm-hmm. either yeah. so you could have a similar story to somebody else but if joe blow and sue ann over here went through the same thing but she felt it more than him mm-hmm. you're going to feel that she mm-hmm. felt it more than him you know what i mean right, right. i mean based off musically if you're really making music which people that i feel like that are really making music especially locally mm-hmm. I feel like delivery comes with with product as well. Right, so right. like, Definitely. I mean, you could also have 10 artists in the city that are making music and I'm not going to lie, I'm probably not going to like five of their songs, but the other five I might like. And and I feel like that's off of not just lyrically, but again, just how they how it's done and and how it's produced because a lot of people don't give enough credit to the people that are making it happen behind the scenes as well because mm-hmm. you could be the best singer in the world with the best lyrics and the whatever but if you go to a shitty 
person that's going to produce it, it's going to sound shitty. You could, you know what I mean? It's right. just, you, so the best it, talent you know what I mean? So I, that's what I'm saying. So I feel like it's all done off delivery as right. well. You know, that is true. It's a bunch of apple pies. My mom make the best one. You know right. I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. And I would say. argue and say mine does exactly. too. So it's that's like, you, you know, you build an audience, you have your audience. Right. If it's repetitive. It's right. probably good. Cause that's what your audience wants. You know what I'm saying? That that's you. If it sounds, if you do something for so long and it seems repetitive, you're doing something right. When you're right. annoyed by your own shit. <laughs> but I don't feel like artists give themselves that enough. Cause yeah. like, I feel like what's not stressed enough is that being an artist is, is more than just making the music. Like mm. y- you write the music, you take the time to do that. And that's one thing. And that's beautiful. And that's a beautiful part of the process. But if you're a real artist, don't sell yourself short. It is right. okay right. to not rush. It is mm-hmm. okay to not give yourself a timeline. And I had to learn that too. My very first EP I put out and RIP Vince and I loved and I love that I met him and I love the whole process of everything but mm-hmm. I rushed that and so when I went back and listened to it there were songs that I weren't happy with and it's mm-hmm. not because they weren't good songs it just they they weren't to 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 my level of how I wish it would have been put right, out right. and it wasn't because the producer was bad it wasn't because I had bad management it was just I was rushing the process I, I gave myself a timeline a deadline I was like it has to be done now mm-hmm. and it was but it just it just wasn't something that I was completely in love with yet so as an artist I can't stress enough that there doesn't have to be a rushing process of that Talk. It's, it's an art it's an art and it it's meant to be messy and it's meant mm-hmm. to be beautiful and there's a process to this this and I, I just feel like fill it out and, and go to people that you trust and, and make sure that it's done right and it's produced beautifully. If you're going to make beautiful music, it also has to be produced beautifully. You know what I mean? Right. right. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that's what makes you stand out right. from an artist. You know, a lot of people say this saying they rap, whatever. But what you just said, everything you said right now is like, I could tell you're a real music artist. Mm-hmm. And all these people who just do oh, it yeah. for money. You're making a way for us for the versus the you're making us stand out even more. Right. The mm-hmm. people who's just does this for money, guess what? You're gonna get your pride in a way and you're gonna eventually give up and you're gonna mm-hmm. be like, mm-hmm. you this is like I've seen it before, you know. A lot of people think this is fast money. This just in general, this music career. It's slow money. It's a process. It's oh, yeah. Progression, Nothing you know? is, you're not just making yeah. money off of, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're not supposed to make a song within 30 minutes. Like, like. Uh, sometimes you get that spark, so though. Sometimes. sometimes. You can. Yes, you yes. Can. No, I agree. Yeah, you I can. agree. I agree. Oh, okay. But <laughs> it just depends on. on you're the talking st- about the whole process as far as everything goes. Bad. You know, it just depends on the studio session, you know? Like, it just depends where the song is being made, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it it kind of gets a little bit sad though too because I will say this there's been times that I've been like creative and like fully ready to go and like I got all these songs and I'm excited and whatever but I just don't have the funds for it so it's like mm-hmm. also just like when I say like you don't have to rush the process it's also like I mean shit if you got to save up some money to get some studio time but do it the right way do it the right way I mean cuz going back to what I said before you could be a, a beautiful singer I mean I know people even personally that I'm like wow they're great they're like really great artists but they are not getting their music taken care of the way that they should you know what I mean and and that's sad but it's a fact but it so it's also just like it's it's about being comfortable and finding the right people and trusting the process and if you got to save up a little bit of change to do it the right way do it the right way. Mm-hmm. Just do it the right way. The right way. Because exactly. you're only going backwards if you're moving too fast. Well, exactly. You're only going backwards. Shout out to Maggie May. She's walking up Maggie to the May, minute. The goddamn okay, parent. no, but for real, she needs to be let in. <laughs> she needs to be I'll be right in. back. Ali, stay there. I'll let her in. I'm about to say, okay. yeah, we, we good. We good. All right, so look, let me see. But the let thing is, see. your music represents your suck. When you put it out there, that's, exactly. that they, that's what they meet first. Right. You know what I mean? If your music sounds like trash, you're going to be like, ah. You know what I mean? But right. some people believe in you. be like, okay, this is ass, but I, I can make you better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, What's the time right now? Well, where are we at right now? Uh, we got, we got, we 20, got about we got 20 minutes. minutes. All right. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm let JB cut in. All, All right. right. That's cool. Bad. You want to introduce him? Put Bring me it on down, JB. So this is uh, JB, the Mexican singing artist, one of a calm voice. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. you be singing? Yeah, he be singing. That's the man right there. That's okay. one of my diamonds, one of my black roses. Okay. Come okay. on down, JB. We're about to switch. We're going to put you in the hot seat. 
<laughs> no, literally, it's hot as shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's the hottest seat so, in the world. It's hot. It's hot. He made it warmer for you. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with another artist from the Black Rose ENT. We have JB here, man. How you welcome, doing, welcome. Sir? What's right, up? Man. Appreciate it. How you doing Thank on this uh, on this wonderful Saturday? Bro? This is not Hi, wonderful. Bro. Hi. <laughs> this hot. is hot. Fuck <laughs> this, this day. Nothing wonderful hot. about this. The only this. way to explain it, bro. I'm just hot. <laughs> I'm looking outside, scared. <laughs> 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 So, so what is it that you do, man? Like, I heard that you 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 can sing, huh? Yeah, well, I'm 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 one of uh, Miguel's like new new talents, one of his okay. new roses right now. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm the I'm the baby of the okay. of his okay. roses right now. How how you like it so far? Is it? I it, mean, it's 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 pretty cool. Or I mean, right now it's like just feel like home. You know, messing with somebody that is serious kind about of serious it. about yeah. right. something you love to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that sounds like home. That sounds like home. facts. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Hmm. Okay. So it's just it's just pretty amazing to be honest. It's just the fact that you know you get to do something that you really like been wanting to do for Forever, the longest time. Right. It's yeah. different when you love it and they love it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So look, you you so you make songs. You you can sing. Okay. So what time of the day do you get your best work done? I'd say like, man. These I mean like. To explain myself, this last this last week, I've been going to sleep about like three, four in the morning. Just like, mm-hmm. you know, Miguel tells me to be studying, watch interviews. Mm-hmm. You know, I just just now started writing my own lyrics. Okay. Just started writing my own songs. Hmm. How's really, that process I mean, been going? Like starting to write your own. I mean, shit? it's 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 rough, bro. But I mean, like right now, I'm 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 at the point where like. Once the song hits my head, I got to write it down. Mm-hmm. But I never, I only get to the beginning and I never get to finish it. That will never go away. Yeah. Ever. I'm going right, to tell you right. now that you've started it, it will never go away. Even if you have your phone, you're going to watch like You're going to be pulling it out, getting your yeah. notes like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I have a cool, like, I told Miguel, like, the other day, I was like, bro, I got like a cool 10 songs I started, but like, that's it. I just started. <laughs> and what's cool about that coming from somebody who writes I write my own music as well mm-hmm. is that I have a lot of unfinished songs but um, what you'll start to notice is that even when you go back like even when you feel like you have writer's block the more that you write it down the more that you can reference those things so mm-hmm. you feel like it's not finished but you probably wrote it three months ago mm-hmm. you know what I mean or just uh, different pockets of places that you've written things down or different yeah. emotions that you felt or whatever it was you can go back and reference those things and then sometimes before you know it i mean i'm not speaking for you but just from personal experiences that i've noticed like hey man i i really really want to finish this song but i i I couldn't get to the second verse or whatever i couldn't find the hook or whatever and uh i've gone back and read things and i've been like oh i've had it in here this whole time you know what i mean and then you you kind of create masterpieces like that as well yeah 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 Yeah. well problem with me is that like i like i said I, i start the song i work on it and then when it gets to a point where i sing it and record myself I'm just like, uh, I don't like how it sounds. I try to rewrite it. Because you don't yeah. got the same then, feel you got when you wrote it. Yeah, it's a different feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yep. takes patience. Sometimes you need to give yourself a break and a breather. Yeah. You don't have to finish it right away. Because sometimes yeah. you maybe you're not, maybe you haven't felt the end of the story yet. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So so how yep. long have you been doing music, JB? Uh, well, just like I said, I've I've been... I'm a, I'm new with Miguel. Mm-hmm. I don't even have the year with him. Yeah, so like Working just for you, them. like how long have you? Oh, been myself. Yeah, I mean, saying, like you. When did you start? Like, I, what gave you that spark? Like my parents actually discovered that I could sing a little. Okay. As what I mean by that is that like I would sing to my favorite songs and and like mm-hmm. my Spanish songs, mm-hmm. and my mom would record me and send it to like her her sisters, mm-hmm. my grandma. That's tight. And I was 14 at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was, it was just me. I was in, I think I was in middle school. Yeah, I was in middle school doing my homework and I'd listen to music. I'd sing and my mom would record me. Aww. And at times I would catch her and I'd be like, what are you doing? Like, just no, what are you doing? She's, bro? Proud. <laughs> She's proud. She's yeah, right. proud recording her son. So at age 14, I, did, I was doing that. And then after that, like we would go to family parties. We would go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Put you on the we'd spot. Go, we'd, we'd, we'd spot. Stay. And my, mm-hmm. my parents would always put me on the spot. My grandparents Whoa, would always make me yeah, Welcome to my life. Whoa. Look at my always, baby. Yeah, we would always wow. do that. Would, Price, rap, rap that different. little rap you got. Yeah. Price. Yeah. Right. You Somebody, mean the one I'm talking about fucking bitches and hating right. everybody? <laughs> we'll play that one? At, yeah. a, at a six-year-old's birthday right. party talking about like, sing. Yeah. Today is not There's about me. No, I mean, that's how Mexican parties are, bro. I mean, they get drunk and it's not about the kids' party no more. Fact. I'm not going to lie. I went, right. I went to one Hispanic party growing up Lit. in high school and it was the 
best party yeah. I ever went to yeah. in my life. Lit. Lit. They I'm not stop. lying. They don't stop. They don't it, you can it, walk it down the street stop. into a party. It's like, hey, what's up? People like, what's up? Right. <laughs> no, it literally didn't stop. They were like, it's time to go, and people were like, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Yeah, nah. <laughs> All right, so look, man, still got, beer in here. We're here. I got, yeah. I got a question for you, man. I'm gonna dig deep in this. Before one. you hope, before you do that, I want to ask a quick question. All right, is that cool? Come on, do your thing. How old are you, bro? I'm 20. 20. 20? Uh, 21 September. September what? He's September a baby. Yeah. Damn. Libras. Yeah, everybody. everybody I love everybody, Libras. Everybody tells me like, damn, bro, can't believe you're not 21 yet. I'm like, I thought I mean, she was older than that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's how that. that's how me and uh You carry yourself very well. Yeah, yeah. That's you what do. I'm I'm a serious kind of guy. You got like, an old soul. Yeah, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. And funny you say that because I'm I'm really like that's what my grandpa tells me all the time too. Cause I'm into like uh old mariachi songs as well. Mm-hmm. And he tells me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're just like your grandpa. Old yes, that's tight. yeah, I feel that. For I dig sure. it. I that's dig tight. it. And that's, <laughs> that's what. Tight. That's what me and him connect on a lot as well. I like really want to hear you sing that's now. Right. I want to hear. Oh, is there like a song that you can send in that we can there, play? Y'all. I mean, I, I know we hydrated. said we weren't going to do that, but it's hot. does he have something that we can? Oh, yeah, just, oh, I'll you'll just sing, sing on the spot. I mean, wait, 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 do you have do you have tracks on like YouTube? Intro. Uh, yeah, I have one song on YouTube. Can if we you, play that and hear yeah, him? Is that fine. okay? Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. I would do. I would do like either you just sing or an instrumental. Just, I mean, I guess you can sing over the, the song, but. Oh, Look, we putting you on the spot. You yeah. said people be putting you on the spot. We putting you on, on the, the spot. spot. Do that little song you got. We putting it. Hello, hello. What's up? Mm-hmm. He's getting ready I'm to sing. To if you guys want to stay around and hear him, oh, she said, "Oh, we're waiting." I'm hot. They yeah. are waiting for you, JV. They're waiting for you. This boy can sing. In the heat, they ready. They so ready. we're gonna go with the song on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, What's the name of it? Uh, it's uh, you can just put it uh, Y A space T E space. It's the first one right there. How do you pronounce that? Ya te supere. Uh, you can put my name uh, after that too. Uh, just put space and JB. That first one right there. All okay. right, JB, ladies and gentlemen. The first one. Anything you want to say before this before this joint drop? I just hope you guys like it. I hope you like it. Oh, I can't wait. All right. Give me one second. Tuning in to JB, baby. Tuning in. I'm ready. All right, for my headphones on. Y ya te superé Y ya no siento nada Ni andando borracho He contestado tus llamadas Y ya te superé Y eso te daba miedo Porque muy en el fondo Sigues deseando mil besos Te creíste la última Coca-Cola del desierto Pero encontré unos botes blancos que decían modelo. Me supieron más buenos. Y hoy gracias a ellos pude olvidar tu recuerdo. Y ya te superé y fue un dos por tres. Me pusiste los cuernos, no me acuerdo. Tal vez fue al revés y ya te superé. Si estás arrepentida, si me lloras, no me da placer Cada quien con su vida Y si ves mi sonrisa es porque ya te superé El JD Aquí con Ice Black Rose Entertainment Compa Miguel Compa Agustín Te creíste la última Coca-Cola del desierto Pero encontré unos botes blancos que decían modelo Me supieron más buenos Y hoy gracias a ellos pude olvidar tu recuerdo Pusiste los cuernos, no me acuerdo, tal vez fue al revés Y ya te superé, y no quiero saber Si 
estás arrepentida si me lloras no me da placer cada quien con su vida y si ves mi sonrisa es porque ya te superé Fire. I loved it. Thank I think you, the beautiful you. thing about music is I don't know what you were talking yeah, about or what you were saying, what but I, I loved it. Feel it yeah. I loved that it. Vibe is yeah. hard. So I what is that? It. What is love? What's that mean? What's that mean right there? What? What do you the like? What's the song? Like, what was the song uh, about? Yate supere is, is basically the title means like I've already gotten over you type. Okay. And then Los Parras is the group. I, that's that's just a cover oh, I did okay. over the group that originally made the song. Okay. But okay. yeah, it's it's mostly like a sad. Sad song telling a girl like I'm over you like I've found something better. Okay, that's the part that you like that where it says, uh, you you it said te creíste la última Coca Cola uh -huh. like you thought you were the last Coca Cola in the in the in the like in the hmm. cooler. Yeah, but I found uh, a I better found, drink. I found a better drink. Ah! Called Modelos. Oh ah. shit! Yeah. What that made me forget okay. about you? Damn. Hey, yo, that's yeah. player. Yeah, I like it's that. It's like poetic. That's I why like I like that, baby. I like that. Boy. Yeah. got my, my shoulder shit. I like that, boy. Yeah. Okay. Talking okay. shit. Talkin I like this song. Shit. I like I'm about and, to quote this shit. And yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know much about like that genre of music, but I, I feel like, like you said, you said it's like pretty old. Like, is that like an old? No, that's type? that. Not song this. Came out. Not not this. Okay. Not this. Not yet. Right now, I'm, I'm more focused on like the new stuff that's hitting right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And then probably later on, I've told Miguel, like, I, I've, I'd like to do like old, old, old stuff. Ballad type pattern. joint. Yeah. I like that you're sticking with that, though, because I yeah. mean, most mm -hmm. people in in this time is like just trying to fit the mold. So yeah. I love that you're just like sticking with. Yeah. Kind of like cult. It's a, it's like culture. You know what right. I mean? I think that's beautiful. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. Yeah. It reminds me of that movie Coco. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I hey, love that, that movie fucking movie. Great. That movie's yeah, that hard. Fire. That movie's hard. To <laughs> my bitch. little sister's favorite movie. But right my there. little daughter, That's bro, great. she loves yeah. that movie on everything. But yeah, <laughs> me, me, and, me and Miguel be in the studio too. Like we sing some of the new stuff, and then he's like, "Hey, do you know this song?" Like, oh, you said we stuff. sing, huh? You said we sing, Miguel. Miguel no, like it too? I, I, I mean, sometimes he be singing along. Ah, see, caught. Oh. Mm -hmm. Miguel, yeah. uh -huh. He said, "I told I you, I do it all. I be singing and everything. If I gotta do it, I gotta do it. We always." <laughs> we're always, up, we're always finding new music, you know, old music, whatever, right. you know, right. just just synchronizing the ear, giving the new beats. Mm -hmm. So where can people where can people find you? Uh, well, basically on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Um, What's your handles? Um, just L L L J B L underscore J B E L. E L underscore J B. JB. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to follow you after this episode. Right. So nerdy. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, if you ever want somebody to sing on your songs, yeah. Allie mm -hmm. will get you. She got yeah. you. Yeah. I can't sure. sing in Spanish, but I'll sure. I'll definitely sing. Go. <laughs> so JB. Yeah. What's the biggest challenge in your role business project right now? And how are you uh, how are you uh how are you tackling it right now? How are you handling it? What's the biggest challenge in your life? Whether it's music. Your business, biggest you know. biggest challenge right now, right now is just me finding a job. Like right now, I'm unemployed. Mm -hmm. Recently, I just quit my job. Mm -hmm. Felt it, me too. Fuck yeah. a job. Yeah. No, not fuck a job. Fuck that job. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just fuck that job. That's what that, it is. Fuck that specific yeah. job. Right. Yeah. Oh shit. But yeah, just that right now. I mean, thankfully, pretty sure I got some lined up this week. Starting off already. Okay. Yeah, I've been talking to Miguel about it. Like it's gone through some rough times, but I mean, we're always gonna be back on our feet. There's always a way up, man. Regardless yeah. how, how how hard you fall, just look up. Just mm -hmm. like in Spanish, they say "hay mañana pa todo," so that that means uh, there's always there's always something you know something we know something we know how to do. There's always mm -hmm. something we're gonna learn to do and like advance from it. Okay. Nice. I feel like you learn it from your past because like the music you listen to. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you listen to old soul, you understand that old soul mm -hmm. feeling in music when it was like pure and shit. So I feel like it, it grows on you. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. 20, but you got like this, like maybe 28, 29, like how you carry yourself type shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do music like full time? Yeah. That's yeah. the goal. That's the number one dream. It's right not there. a job, is it? No. It's not. Aww. 
It's not a job. It's more of a. I'm rooting for you guys. I'm definitely. You guys have a new fan in me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. For For real. So you said you was going to sing some newer type stuff for us? Some new stuff? Oh, like you want to sing on the spot? Yeah. That's what uh, Ball said. Miguel said, sing on the spot, baby. (laughs) Man, me too, bro. You want us to like play something and you sing or. Yeah, we can put uh, one. Uh, we can do karaoke on there if you want. Yeah, what's karaoke? the name? Uh, Love good karaoke. M E space M E T I. Me Medi. Uh, the one that says karaoke, bro. Me. How, how do you? No, no, no right, right in the middle. Yeah, right. The, yeah. There you how go. do you pronounce is that? This, uh, uh, this is like a one. popular the song. Second one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we might get hit with copyright. I would just do it anyway. Oh, thanks. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck them. <laughs> this top one? Uh, the second, second one. one. Second one. Be fine, yeah. Please don't hit us with copyright. So we might get hit, but I'm Wyatt, so fuck them. <laughs> well, if we get hit, at least we still get to hear you right now. Right. Yeah. Just a cover. Calm down. Oh, man. Good to go. We do not own the rights to this music. We do not. <laughs> <laughs> Pienso que ha sido fácil llegar al puesto que tengo Solo porque me enferia y no saben de dónde vengo Cuánto he batallado en tener lo que quiero What? Apenas corta edad pero yo he sido inteligente Con movimientos con la gente en este ambiente Género billete verde pa' moverme Y miraba gente alivianada con mucho billetes Yo también quería No me quedaba de otra que meterme al ruedo Fue por mi familia Marcas exclusivas me han visto de Gucci y Versace En antro distinguido En una mesa privada tomando con quienes Si son mis amigos La vida te da mil golpes, unos fuertes que ni te imaginas. Oh, man, this shit sounds good. Por eso ando caminando pa' adelante a pesar de muchas caídas. Karaoke. Mm. I have like little goosies. Man. Take care of him. He, boy, yes, in good you have hands. a beautiful voice. Man. You have a lot of control. Oh, I appreciate it. You have a lot of control. You have a beautiful damn, chest voice. He did that voice. sitting down. Yes. Right. Damn. Damn. He done whipped it out. You good. He damn, good. JB. Whipped it out on him. Thank you. I'll take all my bitches. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Took all of them. They just... Where's that boy that was in the, the, the fourth chair? Right. Like, I don't hell know him. That's JB got down. Hey. <laughs> that was beautiful. Good for you. I hope oh, that you bread. get everything you want. Boy, I'm so hopeful for nah, you. For real, put the hard work in, and you're gonna you're gonna be there, bro. Oh, yeah. Yes. So look, I need you to answer one more question for me, man. Yeah, yeah. If it was one question you wish I did ask, what would it be, and how would you have answered it? You want him to see the future? What you want him to know about you, JB? I mean, basically, like 
Damn, that's a hard question. <laughs> See? Some they wouldn't know about you. Like, not no secret. Like, you know what I'm saying? Something about yeah, you. Yeah. That you they can tell a secret if you know. want. I like secrets. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Off the spot like that. I mean, I don't know. I'd probably just, where would I see myself in the future? Hmm. Where would you see yourself in the future? Most likely, like, basically starting off how these, how some of the new groups are doing right now. And the Mexican groups, like, you know, starting off in little bars. Yeah. Clubs. You want to get it organically. I yeah, love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just kind of, like, go get up there just by, like, my own self, like, work. Like, obviously, like, always going to have my, my help over here. Miguel, always going to help me out. Mm -hmm. Give me a hand. Shout out to like, Miguel. Always, like, see myself going up and up. Just, like, mm -hmm. over the people that honestly, like, see my value and worth. And mm -hmm. just make my, my myself go up. That's well, you're definitely myself. worthy. Thanks. Snaps for you. Will, Hate that, to cut you off. That will conclude the end the of the grind game, game show. show. I go by the name of Mega. They call me Trip or none at all. I'm Ali Sheree. And this is JB, Miguel, and Black Rose Entertainment. Ice Black, Black Rose. Ice yes. Black Rose. Thank you, guys. I'm so sorry. Please do not beat me up after this. <laughs> it's too hot. It's too hot to fight right now. I'm it's good. We are I don't care what beef we got. Before you take